गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स लेट एस कंटिन्यू द लेसन रंगाज मैरिज लाइन्स फ्रॉम द टेक्स्ट बुक आर दिस प्राइसलेस कमोडिटी द इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज वॉज नॉट सो वाइड स्प्रेड इन अवर विलेज अ डिकेड अगो दैट वॉज वाई रंगाज होम कमिंग वॉज अ ग्रेट इवेंट people rushed to his doorstep announcing the accountant's son has come the boy who had come to bangalore for his studies is here it seems and come ranga is here let us go and have a look however 10 years ago english was not commonly spoken in this village when the villagers came to know that ranga the accountant's son was coming home from bangalore everyone got excited and rushed to his home to have a glance at him so this was the explanation of the above passages further lines are attracted by the crowd i too went and stood in the courtyard and asked why have all these people come there's no performing monkey here a boy a fellow without any brains said loud enough for everyone to hear what are you doing here then a youngster immature and without any manners thinking that all these things were now of the past i kept quiet explanation is fascinated by all the crowd the narrator too went there and asked people as to why they were gathered because he couldn't see anything entertaining happening they are like a monkey performing a boy without brains shouted loud enough for everyone to hear and in a rude way the narrator called him immature further lines are seeing so many people there ranga came out with a smile on his face had we all gone inside the place would have turned into what people call the black hole of calcutta thank god it did not everyone was surprised to see that ranga was the same as he had been 6 months ago when he had first left our village an old lady who was near him ran her hand over his chest looked into his eyes and said the janewara is still there he hasn't lost his caste she went away soon after that ranga laughed janewara means in kannad the sacred thread worn by brahmins explanation of the above passage is all the people were waiting outside ranga's house because the place would look like the black hole of calcutta if they all went inside by saying this the narrator means that there were so many people that the house would have fallen short to accommodate them all the saranga came outside with a smile on his face everyone was so amazed to see that ranga had not changed a bit after he left 6 months ago an old lady even went to the extent of running her hands through his chest to check for a sacred thread however she went away after confirming that he had not forgotten about his caste further lines are once they realized that ranga still had the same hands legs eyes and nose the crowd melted away like a lump of sugar in a child's mouth i continued to stand there after everyone had gone i asked how are you ranga pa is everything well with you it was only then that ranga noticed me he came near me and did a namaskar respectfully saying i am all right with your blessings explanation of the above passage is once the villagers realized that ranga did not change even after moving to the city they disappeared as fast as a lump of sugar does in a child's mouth the narrator waited till the crowd cleared and asked him about his well-being ranga noticed him and replied with full respect in a traditional way ranga had not noticed the narrator in the crowd before that moment 
Further lines from the textbook are I must draw your attention to this aspect of Ranga's character. He knew when it would be to his advantage to talk to someone and rightly assist people's worth. As for his namaskar to me, he did not do it like any present day boy with his head up towards the sun, standing stiff like a pole without joints, jerking his body as if it was either a wind or a waking walking stick, nor did he merely fold his hands. He bent low to touch my feet. May you get married soon, I said, blessing him. After exchanging a few pleasantries, I left. Explanation of the above passage is Ranga was very well behaved and well aware as to who could benefit him. He was one of those who could analyze someone's worth rightfully for how he greeted the narrator. Greeted means here welcomed the narrator. He bent low and touched his feet, thereby seeking his blessings. It was not the present day namaskar where children would do it casually. It was a proper traditional one. The narrator blessed him that he might get married soon and then left. Further lines from the textbook are That afternoon when I was resting, Ranga came to my house with a couple of oranges in his hand. A generous considerate fellow, it would be a fine thing to have him marry, settle down and be of service to society. I thought for a while we talked about this and that then i came to the point rangapa when do you plan to get married i am not going to get married now he said why not i need to find the right girl i know an officer who got married only six months ago he is about 30 and his wife is 25 i am told they will be able to talk lovingly to each other let us say i married a very young girl she may take my words spoken in love as words spoken in anger. Recently, a troupe in Bangalore staged the play Shakuntala. There is no question of Dushyant falling in love with Shakuntala. If she were young, like the present day, brides is there. What would have happened to Kalida's play if one gets married? It should be to a girl who is mature. Otherwise, one should remain a bachelor. That's why I am not marrying now. Some meanings are here. Considerate means thoughtful or concerned. Troop means here a group of dancers, actors or other entertainers who tour to different venues. Explanation of the above lines is that afternoon Ranga visited the author with a few oranges which the narrator thought was quite thoughtful of him. Thinking of how nice Ranga is, the author thought it would be a good deed to have him married to a girl just as nice as him. They chatted for a while and then the narrator asked Ranga about his views on getting married. Ranga expresses that he doesn't intend on marrying now because he intend intends on finding the right girl. He cites the example of an officer who got married at the age of 30 to a woman aged 25. Now, since these are both adults, they would understand each other's actions and behavior. Whereas, suppose the narrator finds a girl who is very young, she could understand his words or actions because she is not mature enough. He even mentions the love story of Shakuntala and Dushyant from Mahabharata and that he would not have fallen in love with Shakuntala if she were too young. In that case, Kalidas' play also would have not existed. That is why he intends on staying a bachelor till he finds the right girl.